What's up guys, welcome back to another video. You may notice I'm in the garage and there's no Z here. All the Z's still over at Matt's for the roll cage. That is a long story for another day, but I do have something else to work on. Something new to me, something new for the channel, and I hope you guys are gonna be into it. So it's no secret that I've needed a tow rig for a while. Every time I tow the Z to the track, I'm using my dad's truck. Now, my dad's super gracious and lets me use that thing a lot, but I've got a couple of out of state trips planned for the rest of the year and I seem to be driving more and more events and sometimes our schedules are conflicting and he needs the truck or maybe my mom needs the truck and it's it's kind of a family truck, you know, so it gets passed around, everybody uses it. So it can be a burden when I'm like, hey, I need it for the weekend, especially if it's not just one day, it's two. So I started shopping around for a tow rig and I had a few boxes that I wanted this thing to check. A, it's got a tow, right? B, it has to be affordable because I don't have a huge budget. Of course, I would love a big diesel truck that could tow a house, but we're not there yet. So, got to be able to tow. I'm on a budget, and I really wanted something that I could take camping and use outside of just towing my car around. I figured, really, if I'm going to an event maybe once, twice a month in a busy month, um, I want to be able to enjoy this thing more than just that. So, I wanted something four-wheel drive that I can take out camping, I can enjoy and have fun outside of the world of drifting, which I rarely get outside of that, but you know, every now and then. <laughs> Enough talking, let me show you the newest addition to the channel. That's right, got a 2000 or 2001 Chevy Tahoe, four by four, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, it is not the cleanest example, but it's also not that bad. These things are getting harder and harder to find in decent shape. It seems like everyone I looked at had 200,000 miles, salvage, completely destroyed interior. And while this one's not clean, it's not ruined. It's got 132,000 miles, clean title, there's no rips in the interior, but as you saw, it's far from perfect. And it really, really, really needs a thorough cleaning. That's what we're gonna jump into today. So this thing has two issues that I wanna fix, and I wanna fix them quick. One of them being the fuel gauge does not work, it just is sitting at empty. If it's the fuel sending unit, which I'm pretty sure it is, uh, it's gonna be quite a labor-intensive job because you have to drop the gas tank, so I'm gonna save that for another day. But my absolute least favorite thing about this is the way it smells. Like I said, the interior is not bad. It's not torn up, it's not in bad shape, but it smells kind of terrible. Funny story, this thing was actually owned by someone who ran a taco stand, not out of the truck, but they hauled all their equipment around with the truck, would go set up at a street corner or something, sell their tacos. So the inside of this smells like grease like food, cooking oil. If you've ever worked in a kitchen or a restaurant, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You go home smelling like that. That's how this truck is. So we're gonna dive into here. I'm gonna start taking some stuff out like the third row seats. I know I'm not gonna need them and it's just one more thing that smells bad. So getting that out of there and then I'm gonna dive into cleaning this carpet and really hoping that I can get this smell out of here because I don't like driving around smelling like a taco truck. I'm gonna throw you guys up on a time lapse, get to working on this thing, but I'm curious, drop a comment down below, what do you guys wanna see? Like I said, obviously this is going to be a kind of budget built tow rig, so I'm gonna do a few maintenance things, probably do a bigger trans cooler. I'd like to walk you guys through that, but also with me wanting to go camping and enjoy this a little bit off road, I may do some cool mods like maybe a small lift or at least a leveling kit, bigger wheels and tires, and figure out how I can actually turn this into something I can camp in. That was one of the draws to me getting an SUV over a truck because I like the idea of sleeping inside it. And even if it's not going out to a campsite, I can tow the Z to the track, camp at the track, and drive two days in a row now without having to worry about where I'm gonna stay. So drop a comment down below, let me know what you wanna see with this thing. But enough talking, let's get to work. I have a feeling I'm gonna need these. Got 
the third row seats out. Got some uh, carne asado from the last taco night. Any detailers that watch this probably cringed at that, but <laughs> that was a mixture of Simple Green and Dawn dish soap, watered down a little bit. Sprayed both the panels in the back here, and it knocked that grease down real quick with a scrub brush, and then I went back and wiped them down with these uh, wipes that I've had in the garage for a while now. These things are pretty cool. These crocodile wipes, uh, I think I found them at Lowe's. They are so good. They're super thick and they work really well cleaning your hands, cleaning tools, cleaning all kinds of stuff. I use those things a lot, so get yourself some. If I can find a link, I'll put one down below, but I'm gonna keep cleaning. I'm really just trying to get this taco smell out of here for now, uh, cause I'm planning on taking this thing on like a little mini trip tomorrow, just to kind of get a feel for it. I haven't really done much other than drive it around town this morning. And even that was maybe 10 miles max. And the thing feels good, it runs good. It's not leaking anything. But until I really get some miles on it, I'm not going to be totally confident. So I'm going to keep cleaning, try and get the smell out of here, and we'll carry on. Okay, change your plans here. I'm getting deeper and deeper into the trunk of this thing. And I'm starting to believe that even if I pay someone to shampoo the carpets in this thing, which I already made a few phone calls and was going to schedule that. But the way that carpet is, is it's not just one layer of carpet, right? There's more underneath it. With the years of taco grease getting into this thing, I'm sure it's in this carpet pad too underneath it. And I just don't wanna spend the time and the money cleaning this carpet and still having this thing smell like tacos. So you might be able to tell by the stuff I've already removed, like these hooks and some of the plastic stuff. This carpet's coming out. Not the whole thing. This is not the Z. I'm not gonna gut it and turn it into a, a race Tahoe. <laughs> but I'm gonna cut this back portion of the carpet out, get it completely out remove it from the picture and then I can take my time and detail the rest of the truck. That way I know for certain that smell is gone and I never have to worry about if I'm sleeping back here, some nasty taco grease working its way into the clothes I'm wearing and then it's stuck on me for the rest of eternity. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but just believe me when I say this thing reeks and I want it gone. And I'm happy that the stains and the grease and the mess from all this is localized to just this section here in the trunk. It doesn't even go up on the back seats when they're folded down, so that's good. I wasn't planning on cutting carpet out of a truck that I just got, but hey, whatever. In the long run, it's not really gonna matter. I'm gonna throw a sleeping pad or something down here when I do camp in here. Other than that, it's gonna be full of tools and wheels, tires, all the stuff I need for a track day, so. No point crying about it now. It's time to get a razor out and cut this carpet out. Feel better already. <laughs> now I can just scrub this thing down. I'm probably gonna remove these big bars. Those are what held in the third row seat. Unbolt all of those. Then I'll have a real nice flat floor that I can use as a base for when I take this thing camping. I think this is gonna work out really well. Whether I put some generic house carpet back down or something down the road, figure that out when I get there. At the end of the day, like I said, this thing's gonna be hauling parts, wheels, tires, and me around. So I'm cool with this. I think it's gonna work really well. And like I said, if down the road I can get some carpet for free or something, I'll toss some back here. But for now, this is gonna work really well and it's gonna clean up so much better and it already smells better. <laughs> that carpet was so nasty. So I got an idea for the back here, but one thing I wanna mention before I put anything down over this floor is we removed a bunch of bolts that held on the little bars for the third row seating. Now, anytime you're removing bolts or hardware, especially off the floor of your vehicle, you'll want to cover these up. This goes straight down to the floor, so we don't wanna leave that open. You can get water, mud, dirt, all kinds of stuff from the road in your truck or car. So we're gonna use some aluminum tape. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know I use this stuff for everything. We're just gonna put a small piece over each of these holes that'll seal that up nice, nothing to worry about. 
easy as that. So I was working on this thing, looking at the back all stripped out, glanced over here at what was my gym, and uh, I was looking down here at these horse stall mats. Got an idea. Yeah. Really stoked on this transformation. This thing is finally starting to feel like something I'm going to enjoy driving and not something I hate getting into. The smell is just about gone. The majority of it was from that rear carpet, so I'm glad that is in the trash. And if you saw in that little B-roll clip, what I was talking about is what I had as my gym flooring was actually three quarter inch horse stall mats, really thick, really dense rubber mats, and they work super well for all kinds of things. They're really strong, really versatile, and they're really easy to clean up. Fits back here perfectly. Well, not perfectly. I kind of added a little extra in the corner, but fits pretty well. And the best part is it fit under this guy here. So there's no like weird transition. It's the same as it was with the carpet and it's level with the seats. Let me fold those down. Just folded one down here, but you get the idea. So now it is totally level. When I left it just bare metal, it was not, it was like a weird transition there. So that wouldn't work out if I was trying to use this for camping, but I think those horse stall mats really are gonna be the perfect solution between using this thing as a track slash tow rig I'll be able to throw all my tools, tires, and whatever else back there and not have to worry about messing anything up. And then when it comes time to use this thing for camping, now I've got a nice flat floor that I can put blankets or a mattress pad or whatever on top. It should be ideal. With this thing now officially being a vehicle that I'm not ashamed to be in, <laughs> I can move on to some more fun stuff whether that be maintenance that I'm sure this thing needs or actual fun mods, which I'm excited to get into. Not gonna happen in this video. This was just kind of an introduction. I wanted to show you guys what we're working with here. So when you see it in the next video, in the background or towing my car around, you know what's going on. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think and let me know what you'd like to see. Like I said, I plan on doing some off-road camping fun stuff and some mods to make this a little bit better for that. So maybe some like cool overlanding stuff would be fun. Uh, but yeah, let me know. If you're not interested at all, just be like, nah, back to drifting. There's going to be plenty of that, I can guarantee you. Like I said, the whole reason I got this thing is because I have a couple of big out-of-state track days planned for the rest of this year. So make sure you are subscribed because some of them are going to be pretty big and pretty exciting. With that being said, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.